Hey, my beautiful followers. How is everyone doing today? I am sitting outside. I just got done with all my yummy, juicy clients that I absolutely adore. It has been a good day of clients and energies. Um, lots of good things happening. Um, gonna be a great weekend. I'm going to Kendall, William, and Krista Kaya Paul's Max um, event tomorrow, and so super excited about that. If you're in the DFW area and you want to be a part of that, then go on Kendall's website, and you can find that. Actually, it's on my my profile, so you can go to my profile, and you can get a link to um, take part in that or take part in um, an individual session with Max because it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool that energy is always so amazing. But but yeah, so uh, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. And so I wanted to come outside for a few minutes and just enjoy this weather we're having before I head off to yoga class. I looked all cute and then I got ready for yoga. Uh, oh well, oh well. But it's been interesting because I've seen a theme today in my clients and it is one of wanting to help others, wanting to help others, but wanting to help others through trying to control them, trying to control them, thinking, thinking you're coming from the right place, thinking you're coming from your heart space, when really it is the ego stepping in and just trying to control and just trying, it is not actual love, it is a controlling energy. And we do this because we want somebody to feel a certain way. We want somebody to feel a certain way. I can't tell you how many times I see a client that will come into my office and they have this, they'll be, have something going on or even a friend. I have my best friend and they're like, oh my goodness, I just feel like this. And I see their pain and I desire them to feel a certain way. And I might step in and I might be like, okay, I'm gonna do something special. I'm gonna try to, try to step in. I'm going to going to try to boost you up a little bit. I'm going to try to boost you up. But at some level, some at some point I have to go, okay, you're choosing to be in that space. You're choosing to be in a bad mood, to believe that, to whatever it might be. You're right now in that emotion and I can't control getting you out of that emotion. And I have to leave them there. I have to leave them in that emotion and allow them to process through it because me taking them purposely out of that emotion, me forcing them out of the negative, not that I can, I have the power to do that because I don't and I actually don't want it. Forcing somebody out of emotion steals, it totally steals their growth, their ability to expand and move out of that by themselves. To, but then when we do things for ourselves, it is amazing how much more love, compassion we have for ourselves, how much just resiliency we feel of and confidence of, I can do this, I can do this, I can move this through this negative emotion. But what we want to do as coaches, as friends, as family members, as we see somebody going through a rough time, and we want to control their emotions. We want them to feel a certain way, and so we try to force them into feeling that way. When we ha we don't have the power. Now I say this, and there are times when, yes, you can step in. You can, you can do something. It's not that we have to go, you feel like shit today, like have fun with that, and like leave them. No, like there has been times when I've had, like I said, friends or lovers and they're like, yeah, I'm just having a bad day today. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to buy you some flowers today just because I know that'll make you feel good. Like I know that'll, that'll boost your day. And that is coming from a loving place because I do care and I am going to just do a little something. But at the end of the day, their feelings are their feelings. If those flowers, if that, that gift, if that words of affirmation of like, you got this girl, or you're going to get through this this man like I love you I care about you do you want to talk if they're not taking that then you have to leave them there you have them have to allow them to stay where they are because what we end up doing is we get into a battle with them we end up getting into this negative place and we end up getting ourselves an ego because it is ego trying to force somebody out of an emotion 
pour somebody into where we think, where we think they should be. This is all ego. This is all control. And this is how we kill our relationships, any relationship, even our children. Um, Sometimes we need to sit with that emotion. We need to sit with the negativity. And what we end up doing is if somebody continues to try to jump in, sometimes actually we turn that negative emotion on that other person because we feel smothered. We feel not seen. We feel not heard. We feel like we cannot just be us. We feel like we have to put on a happy face or we have to act this way or act that way because that other person can't handle our emotion, handle our situation. And in truth, if you are trying to change someone's emotions, change someone's feelings, force somebody into a space they're not, you need to look at what, if you're comfortable with feelings, where you're not comfortable with holding space for somebody and letting somebody sit in that. Because if you can't handle negative emotions in somebody else, then most likely you can't handle negative emotions within yourself. There's something in there. There's something in there. And guess what, guys? I know. It's hard. When you have somebody in your life and you're like, I, I, I want this person to be happy. I want them to be confident. I, like, I would love to, like, I know they're vibrant. I know they have all this in them. I know it's hard sometimes to, in reality, if we're being, if I, like, I get out of the coaching, like, oh, like, let me, let me read you, like, the right test, textbook definition or answer, I know it's hard. It's hard to see somebody going through something, but we can only love them at the level we can love them. We can't control them. We can tell somebody, I love, I love you, I'm here for you, I'm here to support you, but at the end of the day, you have to leave somebody where they're at. You have to sometimes leave somebody where they're at and they will come around if that's what's meant for them. If they desire it, they will come around. They will come towards you. They will they will find a way to to move their own spirits towards a more positive manner. But sometimes we do need to feel that negativity. We do need to feel this this space down here. We have to feel it. And that is hard. And I, I, again, I want to really emphasize that it's not that you can't do anything to make somebody happy in your world. Because, like, I love, like, doing extra special things to bring a smile to somebody's face. But I'm doing those to just give a gift, to just brighten someone's day. If it doesn't brighten their day, okay, okay. That's not my decision. That's not my choice. I can't force. If I go and I write a beautiful card to my lover telling him how much I love him and I care about him and how awesome he is and how much he rocks and he still stays in his bad mood, then that's him. That's him. I have reached out. I have shared my love and I've done my job. I've done my job. I've done my job. And that's not to say if you don't, if you're having a fight or or something that you can't sit and have a conversation. What I'm saying is this desire that so many people feel to change someone else's mood, like force that change in mood. It's, you can't do that. You can focus on you. You can focus on keeping your vibration in a good place. So when that person comes back around, guess what? Then you're in a good place. You're in a good place. You can handle them. You can... You can be supportive, but what ends up happening is if you try to dive down deep with them, you will end up deep. You will kill your vibration. You will kill your attraction, and you will most likely smother them. You will most likely smother them and kill the relationship in some form or fashion. So, if you, before I have to run to yoga class, I want you to look at your relationships. Where are you trying to fix other people's emotions? Where are you trying to to pull somebody out of something they're not ready to be pulled out of? They're not ready to be pulled out of. There's a difference between supporting somebody, loving somebody, and trying to change and fix somebody. Huge difference. And sometimes the most loving thing we can do is go, I know you're better than this. I love you, and so I'm not sticking around to sit with you in this place. I love you 
And so that's why I'm going to give you a break. That's why I'm going to give you space. That's why I'm walking away right now. Because I love you enough to not allow you to sit here. I love you enough to tell you the truth right now. I love you enough to not just boost you up, but to give you the real truth and to give you real love. Unconditional love. Not this, this mamby-pamby, you know, rainbows and butterflies kind of love, but real truthful, heartfelt love and connection. And I love myself enough to go and take care of myself and protect my, my own energy and keep myself in a place that when you are ready for me, if you're ever ready for me, I'm able to hold that space. I'm ready to hold that space. And so to all my clients and all you people out there, all my followers, we're really struggling with this because again, I've seen it over and over and over again today. Look at where you're uncomfortable with emotions, where you're trying to save somebody, but in saving them, you're actually getting into your own ego and trying to control. Do that work. Do that inner work. Look at, look at yourself. Look at yourself and your lessons in that. So, all right, guys, I am going to go. Go get my namaste on. Go get my, go get stretched and flexible and all that. Um, but if you are in the DFW area, I want to remind you that in March 14th, myself and Kendall Williams will be teaching our oral intimacy, intimacies workshop. And we will be talking about oral sex for men and for women. It's co-ed singles, couples, it doesn't matter. It, it always is a blast. I love teaching this workshop because we end up laughing through most of the workshop, but really truly getting some good dynamics in education. Get some really good dynamic conversation going on and, and people leave with basically a master's degree in oral sex. We, I, I think the PDF is like 26 pages for that you get with this workshop when you, when you attend. And so join me for that workshop. That is March 14th. Get on the list now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Because I know people are going to message me the day before and go, is there still room? And I'm going to have to be like, no, there's not room. There's not room. So get on the list today. And you can find that on my website at asinbell.net under the events tab. Other than that, all the other announcements can wait to an another day. So, all right, guys, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Bye, guys.